Good evening. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm uh, kind of forgetting the day counter a little bit, and, you know, that's more of a good thing than it is bad. It is a little inconvenient, but at the same time, that shows um, the mark of dedication, I suppose. Or just me forgetting a number. Well, whichever one suits you better. But today we get to talk about a topic I am very, very passionate about. I even went as far as to write about it in my fucking college application. Um, so if that doesn't um, mean anything, then uh, if that doesn't mean how much I, I really infatuate myself with the whole concept of TRPGs specifically, then I don't know what does. However, I'll, I, I do want to make this open for all audiences, so even if you've, never ha if you've never done it before, and you're kind of curious on the life of it, even if you don't like it entirely and you just want to see the wacky, the more wackier shit that happens to it, um, or, or even if you actually do roleplay and or, and or or even host, and you want tips because I have, you know, I've, I've had numerous seasons and different plots and everything, different types of plots. And if you want tips on how to host it or how to be a better character, maybe, uh, I don't know if I'll talk about that specifically, M mainly just hosting um, tips, then this episode should help you out as well. And if you do host, shout out to you because I, I didn't even know that was like... You know, I, I don't, I don't really know many other people who host that aren't me. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Before I get into it, I'll make it quick as to how I, how I, you know, how I got here. Um, I started role playing because of a Doki Doki Literature Club role play a while ago because of my friend Zach. Shout out to you, I love you. Um, and ever since he introduced me, well, of course the DDLC one is bad, but ever since he introduced me to White Rabbit, which was his own original plot, and had my own character, um, a middle school homeroom teacher, pretty much tackle an armed guy, like, like a guy with a marksman rifle, I knew that I would want to try this out myself. And I've had a lot of projects, a lot of the ones that failed from um, if you do know me and you've taken part in some of them, you might recognize some like, I don't know, Alloy or, I don't know, Oneirism. <laughs> um, but if you, but, but e even if you do, you might not recognize things like 42nd Street and people in a room with 10 magical apples. It, it, I've had a lot of, of you know, it's trial and error and seeing what sticks. However, I want to talk about the, the big three um, in terms of successful things that, that I've done. Um, so, we're going to talk about Danganronpa, Perfection, and Infernal Redux, my current one. Danganronpa is, is, uh, began in 2018. Um, well, we'll get into the dates later. Let's just begin with Danganronpa. Now, um, Danganronpa was the first big thing. It's definitely been the longest running. It started from 2018 to, I believe, 2010. No, fuck, not 2010, what the hell? I went back in time and shit, nah. Um, from 2018 to 2020, um, and it lasted seven seasons, and I started out hosting at it um, like an innocent little lad, um, spraying hor- oh my god, spraying horrible tropes all over like an infection, but no trope was bad, we were all, what, 12? It doesn't fucking matter. Um, but I exited it knowing so much more, and I'm really grateful for it. So here's how we're gonna lay this out. Um, I'm gonna talk about the good things about it, uh, the bad things about it, um, the coolest thing that's happened, and the wackiest thing that's happened. In, in terms of, like, wacky bad, mostly, but uh, goofy, wacky, you know, all that stuff. Um, and finally, I'll, I'll give tips, I guess. Um, so that's what I mean by honing to, to all the audiences and stuff. So I hope um, you find it somewhat meaningful to you, or just a form of entertainment. Either one works. Um, however, um, the good things about the Danganronpa thing. I'm, I'm actually really grateful I, I began um, with Danganronpa. If you don't know what Danganronpa is, I'll make it brief. It's, uh, it's where uh, students uh, that are, you know, the ultimate something, like the ultimate, you know, baker or something. They, uh, 16 of them, of them or 8, 
um, depending on, you know, your cast size, but usually 16. Um, they get placed into a school where they are trapped, and they... It, it's a killing game, so you have to kill someone and get away with it, even with, like, a trial underway. Um, where everyone will get together and be like, oh, I think this is, I think they killed him, and and so and so. You have to, you have to, you know, deceive everyone. So it's basically your classic murder mystery, but set up nice and easy in just a way for you. And, and what I mean by by it being um, like a really good beginner, um, a really good beginner conquest or episode, even, is that when it comes to Danganronpa. Honestly, in, in my personal opinion, it, it, if you've never hosted before, it's really good to because only because of how um, how do I say this? How character driven it is. You don't need to to go aside and start like like plotting and you know wondering what you have to do. There is a limited um, you know set of what you're supposed to do, not only supposed to do, but what you can do. Um, because it's just customs and whatnot. However, as good as that is, it's also, you know, kind of a curse to those who are looking for something more. However, it's important to note that, um, how do I say this? It's important to note that there are people, I have seen Danganronpa roleplays that have taken it um, like really, really well. Um, they've innovated, they've done all these cool new things that I would have never thought in, in my sessions. Um, however, it, it was really nice. Okay, yeah, that explains the positive and positives and negatives. I, I kind of just nailed both of them. Um, I think the coolest thing that's ever transpired, I can go on about any, like, event, I can talk about the tropes between Gomakashi and Yuzuki and D'Artagnan and Shinmore and all these names that no two people know out of everyone. Um, however, I personally think that, that the coolest moment to me was, I, I think, just, just Gomakashi Fumi, Fumeko herself. And... The thing is, with 16 people, it's hard to get that many people. So, for season 5, for example, we had to get 8, and every season before that. But when it came to... Uh, how do I say this? When it came to the one with 16 people where I wanted to challenge myself and and show that, yeah, look at all these, all these new... <laughs> look at how many people I can host that at once with just myself which please don't ever do that um, you will regret it it's it's not it's not easy I said I was prepared I was a liar I was a fucking liar um, but like it, it's gonna be difficult um, trying to trying to get people oh my god I actually got hit there <laughs> it's going to be difficult trying to get people so I had this like little band-aid solution where I would I I would instead of looking for a new person I would end up making an alt instead and you might be asking well what does that accomplish that's just more work for you you have to not only host but you have to act like this motherfucker as well um, and it probably wouldn't have worked today but I I promise it, it's ex it like worked way more effectively than I ever would have hoped because the best part about having um, you know you your little you know little rat in the whole plot intermingled that isn't a side character is that they can especially in Danganronpa they can be much more organically how do I say this they can serve as a more organic catalyst in my opinion to drive events to drive relationships friendships just like um, connections between people, especially if your character is outgo as outgoing and mysterious and hiding things, there's so much room for potential for, for that. So I'm honestly glad I did the alt thing, however I acknowledge that I I don't think it would work and especially it especially won't, um, uh, let's see, it, it, it especially won't work twice. Um, you know what I mean? Even though I have done it twice, but different people, um, and I'm pretty sure the people who um, have seen it before kind of anticipated it. So, whatever. Good on them. Good on. Just good on them. 
Okay. Um, wacky, sh wacky as shit. Um, in terms of that, I think I'm gonna get into my my favorite anecdote of all time regarding the Danganronpa roleplay, and and I'll pe j just just picture this, okay? So I ha I got a lot of applications for the form. Um, it went from people giving one-liners like, "Oh yeah, looks like Sean White has leather jacket," and then that would be their detailed description, uh, but. Hisoka Yoshino, one of the characters, um, her character, or I, I forgot the pronouns of the character, um, but, but their character <sighs> took up pretty much the entire page, if I were to be completely honest, and it was, it was nuts. Like, I, oh my god, <laughs> um, oh fuck no, um, yeah, it, their description took up the entire fucking page and literally it it took a while to read but it was honestly highly commendable there was just so much um things to work off of and there were so many like plot elements that i definitely could have incorporated in the later in the later seasons if need be um they gave literally everything i could have ever asked for and it, it was clear that they were passionate about their character and they weren't just like copy and pasting from an old project which which happens um and that's not a bad thing but it does happen so hisoka yoshino enters the 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 season six universe as well as the one-liner person who i will name as cameron cat and also his uh canonical brother uh luke appen um both are oddballs both had very undetailed character forms but let me just I, I'm not doing it justice, but I don't want to. I don't want to make this too long because I still have other things to talk about. Um, I'm not going to do it justice by explaining it in the way that I am. But Cameron Cat's arc, and this is day one of the of the roleplay, by the way. Um, Cameron wakes up, right, goes to the hallway before the announcements of the whole. It's a killing game thing where you know most characters are supposed to, you know, feel like terror. Um, so, some characters, they don't just, they actually don't care. They act as if, you know, they know it's a roleplay, right? Um, it, it's important for your characters to feel shock in what's uh, natural, um, obviously. Um, however, Cameron Cat enters the hallway, wakes up, prob probably enters the hallway, sees this, like, vase. Vase drops, because he, cause he, like, trips on it. Um, I forgot how, but, it, but he did trip on it. And... After tri tripping on it, he subsequently, um, <laughs> yeah, he subsequently, um, uh, also kind of gets glass on him. I, for I, I forget if it's, um, the glass of the, oh my god, I forget if, if it's the glass of, uh, the vase or the table, um, but the only thing that's relevant is that there was glass on him, and he was like, fuck, there's glass on me. So he heads downstairs to the infirmary, which he, he ends up finding, and he looks through the cabinets, he swipes his ID card to open uh, these cabinets that probably shouldn't be, ho be opened, like mysterious things and all that, and he takes a syringe um, after not being able to find rubbing alcohol, and he's like, oh, this is probably like morphine or something, and then he injects it, and then he dies of cyanide poisoning. All in the first day of him being introduced. From start to finish, and his like lifespan was like 30 minutes. And I'm I'm not talking about in-universe time. I'm talking about he got up, you know, injured himself or cut himself, and he went to the infirmary took a random ass syringe, injected it, and then died. <laughs> and that's his character arc. The, that, like that, I, I, was, I was astonished at, at how someone could have such a short thing. But you know what? Everything is a surprise when it comes to Danganronpa ones because of how character driven they are. So you just have to take the good with the bad. But that's not even the worst part, because you might have remembered the whole Hisoka Yoshino thing. It's like, why did you mention him if you were going to bring up this Cameron guy? And to that, um, 
<laughs> Luke, Luke Afhan, right? The brother of Cameron Cat is like, holy shit, uh, what the fuck? And, and later on, um, a while after, um, his brother, you know, kills himself, essentially, he, he goes to the infirmary on day two of the roleplay, right? Finds, um, Hisoka in the laundromat, and they had a bit of a, a bit of an argument, and then right after the argument, oh my god, I, I feel so shit for, for getting hit there, um, right after the argument, he goes to, to her, and just sl and just like socks her in the face after like after the argument and because of him because of him having like extremely high strength he rolled the highest dice and killed her on the spot and when there was the slight sliver of hope that she could survive which all he needed to do was do was execute successfully CPR he rushes her to the infirmary gets ready to do CPR and then pushes purposely soft which if you've ever done CPR before is not what you're supposed to do and then she dies on day Two. It has not even been the the like the full dorm like like the the dorms have not even been announced, and and two people have already died with no trial. Okay, well well Hisoka got a trial, but it was the saddest trial in existence because there were two witnesses outside of the laundromat. So that is honestly the wackiest fucking shit I have ever, ever come across. So, yeah. I... I'm sorry. I... That... That, that, that's it. Yeah, okay. Well, that is, um... That is Danganronpa, um, for me. And, oh boy, was it a time. There, there was, there's so many arcs that I'm... I'm not bringing up, and I feel really bad for not bringing it up, especially bringing up here in all places, but like, you know, it, it I, I, I have more to do, so I hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, uh, that's it for the Danganronpa episode, um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and uh, the next episode will probably also be roleplay related, so... Yeah, I, I just feel like there's so much to talk about. So the 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 part two to this will be in uh, the episode coming out probably directly after this. So yeah, um, all right. Um, until then, thank you for listening to this 20 minute episode. And again, have a lovely night.